Tiens, pour les nerfs. Jean-Paul Belmondo was a famous French actor, known as a rebel with an irresistible smile who played many strong characters in a multiple of cult films. In the dawn of his acting career, Jean-Paul Belmondo was never predicted to have a great future in the cinema, but despite everything, he was able to become one of the most popular actors in cinema and the conqueror of millions of women's hearts. In this video, at the request of our subscribers, we will tell you how Jean-Paul Belmondo lived and what life was like for him. How Jean-Paul Belmondo lived and what was life like for him. Jean-Paul Belmondo was born on April 9, 1933 in the newly sur seine district of Paris. The future actor grew up in a family of creative people. His father Paul was a famous sculptor and his mother Madeleine was an artist. Besides Jean-Paul, there were two other children in the family who were also in the world of cinema. His sister Muriel became an actress and his brother Elaine became a producer. The boy's childhood took place during World War II. The Belmondo family also faced serious financial and emotional difficulties as a result. Jean-Paul was a charming child and often posed for his father so that he could make plaster angels of his image, which can still be seen on fountains in Paris. The mother also instilled in her children a love of art and often took them to the theater and the Louvre, which contributed to the boy's decision to become an actor. Upon learning about this, the father brought his son to his friend, the artistic director of the Comédie Franchot, but received a disappointing verdict from him that the boy was unsuitable for the performing arts. But the father was not discouraged and understood that if his son worked hard, he would succeed. During his school years, the future actor was mischievous. He was even expelled from school for hooliganism and fighting. To find a use for his overflowing energy, he took up sports. At first, he wanted to become a cyclist. Then he attended the soccer club, where he played as a goalkeeper. Later, Jean-Paul Belmondo took up boxing. The teenager even became the welterweight boxing champion of Paris. However, thoughts of becoming an actor didn't leave Jean-Paul. At a crossroads, instead of choosing between sports and movies, he went to serve in the army. During his service, he fell ill with a mild form of tuberculosis, and after recovering from the illness, Jean-Paul made a firm decision to become an actor. At the age of 20, the young man entered the Higher National Conservatory of Dramatic Art where he studied with other famous personalities, Pierre Dukes and René Girard. During his studies, Jean-Paul began his career on the stage, where he spent most of his time in the 50s. One of the most successful works with Belmondo's participation was the play May Day. Most of the teachers of the conservatory, although recognizing the talent of the young man, didn't believe in his success. The future actor often skipped lectures as well as bullied and fought with his classmates. In addition, Jean-Paul, after the injuries he'd received in boxing, lost his childhood charm and became a young man with an extraordinary appearance. A large slanted nose and large lips prompted many to think that the actor obviously wouldn't be attractive to female viewers. But as the future showed, Jean-Paul was a very loving, passionate man and was in great demand among the opposite sex. Even in his youth, he defined the meaning of life as such. Without women, I don't exist. The personal life of Jean-Paul Belmondo was filled with vivid relationships, although he was officially married only twice. He married for the first time at the age of 20 to the dancer Elodie Constantine, whose real name is Renee. But Jean-Paul didn't like it, so he called her by the name of the main character in the play which he was acting in at the moment. His wife gave the actor two daughters, Patricia and Florence, and a son, Paul. In 1956, after graduating from the conservatory, Belmondo made his debut in the short film, Molere, but during editing, his scenes were cut out. Later, he acted in the films On Foot, On Horse, and On Wheels, Sunday Encounter, Young Sinners, Sunday's Friends, The Big Risk, An Angel on Wheels, Web of Passion, the Three Musketeers, and Be Beautiful But Shut Up. In the latter, he worked together with the handsome Elaine Delon, a ladies' man with whom he became good friends, although they secretly competed for women's attention. The actor's true fame came from the role of the scoundrel Mikhail Poikard in Jean-Luc Goddard's film Breathless, which was released in 1960. No, je ne peux pas me passer de toi. Oh la la, ça c'est bien les idées des garçons. Souris-moi. 
The film marked the beginning of a new wave of French cinema and entered the list of the best movies of all time. And most importantly, thanks to his character, a new type of hero emerged, a rebel who defies the canons of society. Young people imitated the actor. They smoked like Belmondo, dressed like Belmondo, and behaved like Belmondo. After the premiere of the film, all the directors wanted to see the actor in their films. Movies such as Trapped by Fear, Love and the French Woman, Seven Days, Seven Nights, and Two Women were released. In the latter, he starred with the legendary Sophia Loren. This war film was based on real events. The rapes of residents of the Chikara district by Moroccan soldiers during the Second World War. The film was awarded many awards. One of the main ones was the Oscar to Sophia Loren for Best Actress. The beginning of the 60s gave Belmondo fans brilliant films with their favorite actor. The military drama Leon Morin, Priest, the drama A Woman is a Woman, the crime drama A Man Named Raka, the action movie Swords of Blood, the comedy A Monkey in Winter, the thriller The Finger Man, and many others. Jean-Paul skillfully managed to act in comedies, portraying simpletons and losers, as well as transform into secret agents, spies, and various heroes. By 1963, the 30-year-old Belmondo already had 30 films under his belt. In the same year, the actor wrote an autobiography, which he called 30 Years and 25 Films, and became president of the French Union of CGT Actors. The actor continued to actively act in films and became one of the most sought after and commercially successful actors in France. In France, he is affectionately called Bebel, which means the darling of fate. Popular films with the actor at the peak of his youth include the action movie, That Man from Rio, the adventure film Greed in the Sun, the drama Pierrot Le Faux, in which he plays a deceived man so beautifully that the film manages to fool you as well. Peut-être pas encore interrogé. Tu es pas un chat. Il a dit tous les mal de toi qu'il pouvait. Pour la raison. En tout cas, je suis désolé pour elle. Désolé. The film received a Golden Lion nomination at the Venice Film Festival. Every year, the popularity of Belmondo only grew, and so did the attention from women. The ugly handsome, as the character was called, had such charisma that he was rightfully considered the most desirable man in France. Jean Paul's wife turned a blind eye to the petty affairs of the heartthrob, but after learning about the affair with the sexiest girl of that time, Ursula Andres, it was the last straw for her. Elodie filed for divorce after 13 years of marriage, which came as a surprise to Belmondo. After the divorce, they continued to be in each other's lives, Jean-Paul providing for the children and participating in their upbringing. The actor had an affair with Ursula during the filming of the movie Up to His Ears, in which the Bond girl was his partner on set. The affair was a whirlwind and passionate. For the sake of being with Belmondo, the actress divorced her husband and lived together with the actor for seven years. After a while, Ursula found herself in another love triangle. The amorous actor started cheating on her. She even tried to slit her wrist because Belmondo was the love of her life, but he never married the actress. The new affair of the actor accelerated the couple's separation. His chosen one was the Italian Laura Antonelli, an erotic movie star who ironically divorced her husband for Belmondo, and the couple's relationship like the previous one also lasted seven years. Their relationship took the form of a guest marriage. Laura lived in Rome while Jean-Paul stayed in Paris, and the actors went to see each other on weekends and holidays. The girl loved her freedom, but the actor wanted another form of love, sacrificial. As he admitted himself, this was the reason for the breakup. The breakup was painful for Laura. She fell into depression, started drinking, and often regretted her frivolous behavior, but the time couldn't be turned back. No sooner had the heat died down than Belmondo came out with a new girlfriend, a 19-year-old model, Marissa Carlos Sato Mayer. Alas, as it turned out, the 48-year-old actor made the same mistake. The daughter of rich parents, Maria Carlos, was not used to limiting herself. She often cheated on the actor, and she didn't want to talk about marriage. After seven years, ironically, he decided to part with the beauty. When they parted, in a malicious manner, Carlos gave him a terrier puppy and wished that he would find happiness at least with this bitch. The actor himself has never denied his passionate love for the opposite sex and admitted that he had more than a hundred affairs, much like the roles he takes in the theater and the cinema. While his personal life was full of affairs, his acting career did not stand still as well. 
In the period Belmondo starred in many great films, including the war drama, is Paris Burning. In this film, he plays a fighter against fascism. The actor knew firsthand what the occupation of Paris was, having gone through this story as a child. Then the comedy Casino Royale, where he starred with Ursula Andress, his common-law wife at the time. Then the drama The Thief of Paris, which became a favorite in the Soviet Union and was nominated for the main prize of the International Film Festival in Moscow. Also, the comedy Married Couple of the Year 2, where the main role was played by Laura Antonelli, and the criminal drama Barcelino, in which he starred with his main rival, Alain Delon. Come on, les gants, tu peux les raccrocher! Terminé! Et toi, tu vas retourner sur les quais! <laughs> oh, la famille! The film The Man from Acapulco, which was released in 1973, was also very popular in the USSR. In it, the actor played two roles, a notorious writer and the hero of his books, a spy, who became an obvious parody of James Bond. Sombre dans le burlesque. Comment? J'écris n'importe quoi. Pourquoi? Ah, parce que j'en ai ma claque, Madame Berger. Oui, les microfilms, les gaz moutards, les agents doubles, j'en ai marre. Le KGB, les guerres froides, les soldats de l'ombre, ma, ma, ma. This work was one of the favorites for the actor himself because he considered himself a comedic actor. After that, even more successful films were released with the heartthrob. The amazing comedy Incorrigible, the action drama The Night Caller, the thrillers The Hunter Will Get You and Body of My Enemy, and the action movie Animal, in which Bill Mundo performed most of the stunts himself. Oh, no, 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 cruel. Tu ne mourras pas comme ça. Oh, oh je t'en prie, je trouve que ça suffit maintenant. Je sais très bien à quoi mon... It cost him numerous injuries, but in this film, the actor was able to realize one of his childhood dreams, to stand on the wing of a flying plane. Sold out movie theaters, ticket sales at speculative prices, all of this summarizes Belmondo's film Copper Hood, Le Guinola. In 1981, Jean-Paul Belmondo played Major Joss in the crime drama The Professional, which brought him a new wave of worldwide fame. The movie was a huge success, as well as the music used in the film by the famous composer Ennio Morricone. This work was the best in Belmondo's career, according to viewers and critics. The film contained many political aspects, which is why it was released only in 1990. Among the popular films of the 80s are the comedies Ace of Aces and Happy Easter, the action films Les Marginal, The Vultures and The Loner. Working on various projects, the actor always performs stunts himself, but on the set of the movie Hold Up, while performing a stunt, the actor fell off a car going at breakneck speed and almost died. Allo, la brosse. Tu sais quoi? Tu me rappelles mon père. Tu permets que je t'appelle papa? Tu veux m'appeler papa? There were 16 stitches on his head alone. After the accident, Jean-Paul stopped doing dangerous stunts. Having achieved success in cinema, Belmondo decided to return to the theater after an almost 30-year break. In 1987, director Robert Hossein offered him the main role in the production of Keen. The actor liked to act on stage, and he even thought of leaving the cinema. But Claude Lelouch persuaded him to play in the comedy Itinerary of a Spoiled Child in 1988. C'est-à-dire qu'à partir de maintenant, tu ne feras plus un geste. Tu ne diras plus un mot sans m'en parler. Et en six mois, tu vas devenir le roi du business en France. T'es prêt Ouais. For the main role in the film, Belmondo was awarded the National Caesar Award, but devoted to his father, the actor refused the statuette, since the sculptor who had created it once spoke unflatteringly about the works of Paul Belmondo. The actor has always been proud of his father, and after his death opened the Paul Belmondo Museum of Creativity. The sculptor's works barely fit in the spacious halls, since the collection includes 259 sculptures and about 900 sketches. On the eve of his 60th birthday, the actor announced that he no longer intended to be an action star, explaining that he does not want to be the flying grandpa of French cinema. He starred in films of which only a few became popular, such as Stranger in the House and Les Miserables. During this period, Jean-Paul founded his own film studio, which he named Cerrito in honor of his beloved grandmother's last name, and became a co-owner of Le Stressa restaurant in Paris. 1994 was a tragic year for everyone's favorite actor. His eldest daughter, Patricia, tragically died in a fire. 
Her death was announced to the actor a few minutes before the start of a play. He played in the scene, and at the end, he collapsed backstage from a heart attack. Jean-Paul was not going through difficult times alone. Next to him was a beautiful woman, ballerina Natalie Tardivelle, who was 32 years younger than the actor. Belmondo met her after parting with Maria Carlos. It was a completely different relationship. Unlike the previous girls, Natty was very caring and loving. In 2001, Belmondo had a stroke again. For the first three days, Natalie didn't even leave his side. The courageous Frenchman was paralyzed on the right side of his body. He had to learn to walk and talk again, and his loving companion helped him in everything. At that moment, Belmondo realized that after 12 years of being together, he wanted to call this woman his wife. In 2002, the couple had a wedding, which was attended only by close friends. And on his 70th birthday, the darling of fate received the best gift. Natalie revealed that she was expecting a child. Baby Stella was born on August 13, 2003. The actor called the youngest daughter his favorite, and the older children are not jealous and also adore her. The marriage with Natalie lasted six years. In the summer of 2008, they divorced. Belmundo, not wanting to be a burden, let Natty go, wishing her a younger life partner. They remained friends and even continued to live in the same house, only on different floors. Soon the actor got bored and started a new affair. The new chosen one was the former Playboy model Barbara Gandolfi, who is 42 years younger than the actor. The girl turned out to have a very dubious reputation. Others suspected her of fraud. It soon became apparent that Gandolfi was pulling money from Belmondo, and the fact that his mansion in Paris was robbed twice left no doubt about the lady's participation in it. Despite the police advice, the actor refused to sue the woman, apparently in gratitude for the days she had spent nearby. He lived with his new lover in a magnificent villa in Ostend, but after parting with Barbara, he asked her to leave the love nest. He sold the house for $790,000, much to his family's delight, who were worried that the girl would get her hands on Bill Mundo's property. Many believed that the con artist walked in the path of the great actor as punishment for hundreds of broken hearts. In 2008, after a seven-year break, he returned to the screen with the film A Man and His Dog, appearing to the audience as an infirm and sad old man. Et la descente de mon chien. Bah oui, mon chien, il est où? Jean-Paul Belmondo dreamed of making a film in support of people who suffered a stroke and flatly refused the services of makeup artists, demanding that he be filmed as he really looked. According to the actor, he was happy to accept such a challenge, and although not everyone liked to see their idol in such a state, this role was included in the list of his best works. For the main role in the film, Belmondo received $500,000, plus $11,000 for each additional day of filming. How much the actor earned at the peak of his career remains a mystery. Everyone knew that he was commercially successful, but many also understood that numerous affairs cost the actor a lot, and Belmondo never financially infringed on his children and ex-wives. In 2015, the actor announced the end of his acting career and presented his fans with the documentary Belmondo par Belmondo, which was released in 2016. The actor has received many awards in his life, for example, in 2016, he was awarded the Golden Lion Award for his contribution to world cinema, and in 2019, he was awarded the State Award, Grand Officer of the Legion of Honor. In the last years of his life, Belmondo lived in his country cottage in Paris. He was often visited by children and grandchildren, of whom the actor has six. It is noteworthy that none of the children followed in their father's footsteps. The son Paul became a race car driver who competed in Formula One in 1992. However, he still starred in some films together with his father, namely Itinerary of a Spoiled Child and Les Miserables. Daughter Florence was fond of science since childhood, and when she grew up, she married a scientist and moved with him to the USA. The deceased daughter, Patricia, was a screenwriter, and having passed away early, she did not have time to reveal her talent. The actor's daughter from his second marriage, Stella, is also not going to connect her life with cinema. Although she likes to lead a public life, she often participates in photo shoots for fashionable French magazines. In 2020, there was information that Jean-Paul Belmondo and Maria Carlos Sadomayor were back together, but the celebrities didn't comment on it 
anyway. Until his death, he always had a faithful friend with him, his dog Shippy, which was given to him by Brigitte Bardot. The actor died on September 6, 2021 in Paris at the age of 88. During his life, Jean-Paul Belmondo took on dozens of images on stage and in the movies. He was incorrigible, a loner, an animal, but always magnificent. What is your favorite role of the actor? If you like the video, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything interesting.